Yay! Another week, another blog. We're moving along here. Um, something that's really cool that's happening right now. I upset the dogs. I apologize. Is from July 28th till about August 8th, I was able to secure 50 subscribers. A little plus, actually, above that. That is amazing. That is 50 subscribers in 10 days. At this rate, by the end of August, I'll be at 750. So, thanks to everyone that's uh, subscribed recently and everyone that's stayed subscribed from the beginning. Uh, it's really cool what's happening with that. Uh, I love growing and thank you for helping me to grow. My snake video about the snake killing a child got a lot of views and a lot of, of course, angry snake people who were offended from my what I said and things. But one actually, you know, was able to take it to a step further to show me uh, that snakes are trainable. She actually took the time and showed videotape footage that a snake is trainable, and I give her kudos for that. And as you'll see here. Uh, a snake kisses her. Mommy kiss. Give mommy kiss. Come on. Give me a kiss. Thank you. And what about one more kiss and then I never bothered again forever? Thank you, beautiful boy. Bravo. That is awesome. I uh, didn't think I'd see them in a million years. Of course, this also raises some other problems. Uh, what if uh, the snake catches you with your husband? He might kill you. So be careful of that. Snakes, snakes don't like two timers. They're they're really they're all about you know one on one. So I'd watch out for that. That that could raise some problems. I'm gonna put her video on the sidebar. Uh, check her out. Uh, real nice lady. You know it's really cool this week as I learned. Me and Mr. Safety actually share the same birthday. Isn't that quaint? That's just so sweet. I almost want to throw up. No, I love Mr. Safety. He's a great guy. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it means. It has to mean something on a cosmic level. But right now, it's just pretty cool. Just want to throw this out here right now. Uh, Tops, the trading card company. I used to really be in collecting cards. I didn't really like Tops that much. I was more of an upper deck, flare, pinnacle kind of guy. But Tops, they have now the MLB license all locked up. Just like what EA did the football, they're doing to baseball cards. And it sucks. I mean, it sucks. I don't collect anymore. Uh, but it sucks for the new generations of baseball collectors. You know, they won't be able to get team logos on different brands. Are there any more brands left anyway? I'm not positive. I'm not sure. Uh, they kind of dried up after a while. But that sucks. I hate that kind of monopoly type logic that these people are getting where they have to grab up everything and leave nothing for anyone. So it pisses me off. It's shame for shame. Uh, tops. And I think, uh, was it Michael Eisner? that's behind it, the guy behind Disney, the almost bankrupt Disney, the biggest douche in entertainment, possibly, I don't know, that's that's a, probably the biggest suit wearing douche, there you go, that, that's possible for him, maybe not the biggest douche in entertainment, I went a little too far, I apologize to Mr. Eisner, um, you're just a suit wearing douche, I, I believe wholeheartedly that you can clear the field in that category. If I made it too broad for f entertainment in general, um, you may lose, and we can't have that. I am a subscriber to uh, Shay Carl's Shaytard's channel, which is his vlogging and stuff, and within the last couple of months, you've been watching a setup of YouTube superstars at one location and they're going to start their own channel called The Station and all this stuff. And I don't, it just, there's something about it that rubs me the wrong way. It's like, it takes the individual interactiveness of YouTube away from it and kind of makes it this giant media mogul, push down your throat advertising that 
is wrong with the world and every other place but YouTube. And I hate to see that happen. I hate to see this catch on and become a trend and I don't know, it just it just feels weird. It feels different. And I mean power to them. I mean they can do what they want and they're gonna do what they want. Uh but to me they were already successful and making money as individuals and now they're going to team up and become the superpower and never you know it's it's not going to be it's like a funnel for them you know where you don't put anything out to YouTube you just keep on taking you know you just people well I'll relate this video to this video and hopefully that'll funnel more people into my our system and stuff it just it I don't like it. I just don't like it. Uh, that said, you know, recently I haven't been doing as much as I can to actually interact with YouTube. I know people have been out there busting their hump, uh, supporting me, you know, shout out, giving me shout outs all the time. So I'm going to bring out the shout outs. Uh, but I've thought of a creative way to actually, I, I just have so many people I want to shout out, but I have a creative way in my mind worked out that's fair and will, uh, it'll be weekly. And I'll actually, I will, I will want to use clips of these people. I think I'll do five. I think five is the perfect number to, you know, not over say you're welcome and shout out people. You know, I was doing ten, but we'll do five and see how that works. But I'm really excited about that. And that's kind of a positive note. You know, while they can do their thing, uh, I'm going to be uh, propping up people and trying to help them out. You know, people that have helped me and people that haven't helped me. Also, want to get on to the channel of the week. I'm going to keep this feature up on the vlogs too. I like channel of the week. This week's channel of the week is Kevin Lieber. And let me tell you, if you haven't been watching Kevin Lieber's videos, you've been missing out. He's a very, very intelligent, well-crafted vlogger. And I'm going to show some of his work now. First, I'm going to show Creek Speak, which is actually not a character of his, but it's him just letting loose and talking about a subject that, that has come up in his own life at this time. Uh, anyway, I saw this woman on the bus yesterday wearing this ridiculous Tinkerbell shirt that had like a thousand Tinkerbells all over it, and she was really haggard looking, uh, missing teeth, and her hair was just like, obviously hasn't seen shampoo and a year or two, and I'm just sitting there imagining the terrible things that go on in her life that afterwards she, I don't know, falls back on her Tinkerbell shirt to make her feel better. See, that's funny, but to me, what's even funnier is when he goes into his carry, character, carry, character of a Jerry Bloop, which is the lovable loser that you slowly want to kill. Got a lot of things to do, but don't want to do them? Life's personal troubles getting you down? Take a nap! No, Princess Leia. You saved me. Huh? This again? Nope! And probably my favorite character of his, which is the future cynic. And once you wrap your mind around this beautiful gimmick, I want you to watch this video. Alright? Going now. Do you understand what it means? Uh -huh. Feature Cynic? You'll get it. So I go down to Nike Mall to get some new moon boots and they won't scan my swoosh tattoo. They said it expired. I gotta get a new one. Like where am I supposed to put another corporate tattoo between the Walmart one on my back and McDonald's arches on my chest? I don't have room for another swoosh. Where am I supposed to put it? I'll tell you where I'll put it and I'll have to bend over sideways for them to scan it. Give me my moon boots, Nike Mall. That's Kevin Lieber, people. I want you to check him out. Uh, I'm going to put his channel over there. His channel of the week. Stand-up guy. He only has like a hundred and... Mid a hundred and mid, you know, hundred and forty or fifty something subscribers, way too low. If you're interested in any of the videos you saw, uh, hit him up, subscribe, comment, rate. He's a good guy, and he puts work into his videos, uh, and he interacts with his fans. So those are the kinds of people I support, and I want you to support them too. So thank you. Bye bye, Daniel. Couldn't sit down for fifteen more seconds. Uh...
Goodbye, people. I'll see you later, my sweet, non-moving blue babies.